Hi students, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Alright, like I'm promise, okay. Uh, for uh, this chapter, okay, plotting, uh, I'm doing recorded lecture. Alright, this is my first time I'm doing recorded lecture, so I'm very sorry if let's say uh, the delivery is not so good like what uh, that, that the previous lecture class, okay. Alright, okay, uh, for this lecture note, uh, it's about plotting and uh, you're going to learn uh, two types of plotting which are two-dimensional plots and uh, three-dimensional plots, okay? Okay, so the objective uh, for so we look we, first we look at uh, two dimensional plots. So, okay, here you will learn about uh, many types of uh, 2D plot and uh, how to format it. Right, so uh, for this, uh, this is the syntax, okay, the basic syntax of plot. Uh, basically, uh, it's very simple. But the only things you need to remember that you must spell plot correctly. Alright, and then after plot, because this is a uh, functions, okay, functions, coding. So it must be followed with a uh, round bracket, and then inside this, this is the arguments, okay, the information, uh, detailed information of the plotting. So for the basic one here. Uh, in this command, it only defines the vectors, two vectors that will be plotted. Okay, x and y. And you must remember for this, these vectors, it must have same elements, okay, same length. Alright, if not, uh, the computer cannot execute the command and it will display error message. Okay, but with this basic plotting, you can extend it to do a formatting. Okay, uh, then the the this syntax will become lengthy. Okay, when you detailing, you put the information like line specifier, property name, property value. Alright. Okay, let's have a look. What are these term for? Okay, so you know that basic one only in, include x and uh, only include a vector. Uh, but for do formatting, you will add up uh, another uh, information like this line specifier, which mean for type and color of uh, line and markers. Alright, so you can define the color of the line, uh, whether you want the line uh, solid line or a dash line. Alright, and then the marker you can define if you you have uh, your own preference. Let's say you nak buat shape marker to bulat ke. You nak buat the bentuk triangle, okay? It's up to you lah, alright. And then this uh, property name is basically a uh, line width, okay? But what after you define the line width, uh, and, uh, you need to put the property value lah. Uh, how thick the line, okay? If let's say you define the marker size. You, the marker and then you need to define the marker size lah. If let's say you define the, the marker face color, the marker edge color, okay. Then you followed by the coding for the color. Alright. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, this is a basic one. The basic coding. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not very well today. So... Uh, kalau saya batuk tu, you abaikan lah ya. Sebab so, I hope dia aku tak mengganggu lah. Uh, bunyi su uh, suara saya. So, saya harap you boleh dengar uh, lecture ni clearly. Okay. So, uh, I'm not using MATLAB today. Uh, for somehow, I have problem with my MATLAB uh, on my desktop. Because my MATLAB deactivate by itself. But I'm going to show you uh, which octave. So this is octave. Where is my octave? Okay, this is octave. All right. This is octave. Octave is uh, is a uh, open source software. Yeah. Uh, and it use a same coding like MATLAB. Okay. All right. So this is the user interface octave. So let me enlarge it. Okay. 
so okay so this is the uh, directory okay and this is the workspace window and command history all right there is a uh, for so this is the command window all right let we let i minimize this uh, so that i can call type you can see the coding eh, to for this example so for this example i type it on the command window okay so we define x where are we where are we where are we okay sorry okay zero colon two ten okay uh you should know this what did what does this code mean so we actually define x is assigned to 0 to 10 which the gap is 2 eh? the size of gap is 2 and then y is assigned to 0 10 30 55 70 80 all right then i close it with a square bracket and then semicolon all right so so for this is basically uh, you can have a look at the workspace the size is the same all right okay i would like to modify this plot and if this uh, variable by adding uh, another element in this <coughs> in this uh, vector y all right then enter then i type plot okay plot x y all right plot x y enter so look okay there is no data appear here why okay just because there is any message here and then the message say that the vector lengths must match so this is an example when your x and y uh do not have same uh, element so look here x is one time by six while y you have one time by seven element so it cannot plot computer cannot plot all right so that is how computer work <coughs> sorry okay now i'm correcting my plotting <coughs> okay I remove the 87. Alright. Enter. Then I call back my plot. Command. Enter. So this is the graph. Okay. So by default, if you're not defining the format, computer will plot your data uh, without y axis, without x axis. And the data will be plotting using a line, a blue line. So this is default. Yeah, because you didn't specify anything about this. And then there is no title of the graph. Alright. But this is not enough. Okay. For plotting in technical field. Yeah, like our field engineering. We must put detail of plotting. If not, the graph is meaningless. Alright. So. Let's proceed. Okay, alright. Now we detailing uh the plotting. Okay, this is another example where this example put a detail on the that the plot. Alright. Okay. So since I want to make a quick, alright, because uh I don't have so much allocation for free recorded lecture where I only eligible for fifteen minutes. Okay, so I just copy this code and I paste it on the editor window. Alright, okay, so I oh, already paste it. Okay, already paste. And then now I will run. Okay, this is a button for the save and save file and run the coding. Okay, so but before that, since the color of the font here is yellow, I'm using my lecture note to explain. Okay, look here. After this is the x data, 
and then this is the y data then we plot the x and y uh, then followed with this this is line specifier okay followed by this this is line specifier and you must put the post graphy okay this means something is a code actually m m m means something o means something basically this this dash means solid line m means the color of the line magenta okay magenta while magenta m means magenta uh, o here means a uh, symbol of this round shape round round marker all right and then after you define line specifier comma and then you define the uh, the properties name okay line width i'm telling that okay now line width and then followed with uh, you must make sure it's enclosed with a post profile and then followed by comma and then two two is the property value okay where two is my line width uh ketebalan lah dua ada ketebalan dia and then and then next my property name is marker size i said okay marker size so then uh and close with with a post graphy and then follows with comma and then you telling that after that is the pro, the property value for the marker size eh property, okay what is the size you want so i telling here i'm putting 12 all right the, the the size of my marker is 12 then followed by comma because I have another property name where I want to define marker H color. So you define marker H color and then follows with comma. Okay, and make sure the marker H color uh, followed by post coffee again. And then uh, then you do you 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 put G okay G mean the color for the marker H color. Look here, I put a post coffee because this is a character, not a number. Alright, G is according for green. And then, then I put a comma. Because I, I'm, I, I do have another uh, property name that I need to define. Uh, putting a marker face color. Marker face color is basically the color inside my row, the marker. Eh? The, this marker is round shape. So, the color inside the round shape. Okay, I want to define it's yellow. Okay, Y is code for yellow. And make sure you... Uh, 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 yeah, what is it? Uh, and close it with the apostrophe. Alright. So let's execute and run the coding. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, save and run the coding. So this is the graph. Okay. Alright. So here you change the. Uh, we can change with this coding. We can change the. Uh, Format of the line, eh? all right. Okay, all right. So now there is another example creating a plot. Okay, all right. So, uh, so basically, if y is a vector, you can plot y, and then this is if you're putting y only, uh, MATLAB still enable to plot the graph. But basically, it produce a linear graph of the element y versus the index of the element of y. Yeah. Uh, but we seldom do this. Okay. We seldom do this in engineering practice. But you may try. Alright. But if you specify two vectors as, as argument, plot x, y, produce a graph of y versus x. Eh? Plot x, y, be y versus x. Okay. So, this is another example. Let me try this. Okay. Because for this example, we want to label it, uh, label the x axis and y axis, alright, and then we want to uh, label the graph. Okay, I copy, and then I paste it to make quick uh, a new file, alright, uh, and then I paste, and uh, uh, there is some code. This is not code. Try to tidy up my code because I'm copying. This is X level coding Y level. This is title. Then uh, save and run. Save and run. So I save it my object work. And this is chapter four, and this is example two. Example two. 